أهلاً بكم إلى هذا الدرس في برنامج تكلم العربية مع أوبا كيدز على قناة أوبا كيدز لينك اليوم بإذن الله تعالى سنتكلم عن الفريل الماضي You're all welcome to this program Speak Arabic with Uba Kids. Today, inshallah, we're going to discuss past tense in Arabic language. Past tense in Arabic language, Freelul Madi. In Arabic language, the past tense is known as Freelul Madi. The past tense describes the events or actions that happened in the past. In Arabic language, a past tense normally takes al-fatha parsing mark at its end. If it consists of only the root alphabets, however, this might not be so in other cases, where there are some internal changes that occur to the past tense. Then it takes a different sign or parsing mark aside al-fatha sign. The past tense in Arabic language is non declinable in nature. This is because it usually ends with al fatha. But if some alphabets like Waw Jama'a or Ta Mutaharika or Dunu Niswa or Nal Fa'ilu are attached or joined to its end, then it is declined on either a Dhamma or a Sukun. We shall hence. Look at the conditions in which past tense in Arabic language can take different other parsing marks aside the normal root sign which is al fatha The conditions in which a past tense in Arabic language takes different parsing marks 1. When the past tense consists of only the root alphabet, either the root alphabets are 3, 4, 5 or 6. In this case, the past tense takes al fatha parsing mark only. 2. When the singular feminine ta sign, ta utani sakina, is joined to the end of the past tense, then it takes al fatha also. 3. When the masculine plural subjective wow, wow jama'a, is joined to the past tense at its end, it takes a dhamma parsing mark. 4. When the feminine plural subjective nun, and nunu niswa, is joined to the past tense at its end, then it takes a sukun parsing mark. 5. When the subject ta, tau mutaharikat au tau lefa'ilu, with its different signs, is joined to the end of the past tense. Then it takes a sukun parsing mark. 6. Lastly, when the subjective plural na and nunu jama'at is joined with the past tense at the end, then it takes a sukun also. The conditions in which a past tense takes al fatha parsing mark. 1. The first of these conditions is when a past tense takes al fatha sign, which is the root sign of any verb in the past in Arabic language. The past tense usually takes al fatha sign in as much as nothing is attached or joined to its end, i.e., if it is only the root alphabet that constitutes the verb. Either the verb is of the root, three alphabet, four or more than that. Example of this are Jalas al Waladu ala likursi yi. The boy sat on the chair. Is that zana rojulu kobla duhuli? The man took permission before entering. Akram allahu al muslimina. Allah honored the Muslims. The teacher read the Quran. The cold was much in the morning. So, the past tense words here are Jalasa, Istazana, Akrama, Koraa, and Ishtadda. But you see that they have Pafatha passing mark. It is because they are not joined with anything and they are on their own. The second condition is when a past tense ends with ta utani susakina, the singular feminine sign ta. In this case, the past tense also ends with alfata, while the ta takes a sukun. 
part about a Rizalata Jamila. She wrote the beautiful letter. Ista Zanat Alipintu Kobla Dukuli. The girl took permission before entering. Chela sat ala likursi yi. She sat on the chair. Semi at ali azana. She heard the call to prayer. Ah, sanat ila nasi. She was good to people. The verbs that are past tense here are katapat, ista zanat, jalasat. Semi at and ahsanat. But you see that they take fatha because they are joined with tau tani susakila, which is for feminine, singular feminine. The condition in which a past tense takes a dhamma passing mark at the end. This condition is when, wow, jamaat. The plural masculine subject wow is attached to the end of past tense. In this case, the past tense ends with a dhamma. Examples are Al Auladu Jalasu Alalikursi. The children sat on the chair. Al Umalu Safaru Ila London. The workers travel to London. Atalamizu laibu filihadi The students played in the garden. Almudarisuna agalu ta'ama. The teachers ate the food. Almuslimuna farihu. The Muslims were happy. The Past tense verbs here are Jalasu, Safaru, Laibu, Akalu, and Farihu. But you see that the past tense verbs take a Dhamma passing mark at the end. That is because they are joined to Wow Jamaat, which is for plural masculine. The conditions in which a past tense takes a sukun passing mark at the end. Here, the first condition is when the past tense ends with nun niswa, the feminine plural subject nun. In this case, the past tense ends with a sukun. Examples are al muslimasu ta'allamna al qurana. The Muslim females learn the Quran. Al muhatu. At Amna Ali Aulada, the, master, the mothers fed their children. Al Fatayatu Katabna Arisala, the young girls wrote the letter. At Tabibatu Zahabna Ilal Mustashfa, the female doctors went to the hospital. Al Mu'allimatu Tarvasna Al Qurana, the female teachers taught the Quran. You see that the verbs ta'allamna, at'amna, katabna, zahabna, and davrosna are all free lunmati and they take a sukun because of nunu niswa, which is plural feminine. The second condition under this is when the past tense ends with a sukun, is when Ta ul fa'ilu au ta umutaharika, the subjective ta with its different signs. As a result of this, the past tense ends with a sukun. Examples are Kurota al Qur'ana, you read the Quran. Katalam tu mal mudarisi, I talked with the teacher. Katabti ala sabu roti, you wrote on the board. Akwam tu. Alimu Alima, you honored the teacher. Akaltu at I ate the food. The past tense verbs here are Karota, Takalamtu, Katapti, Akromtu, and Akaltu. You see, in the first example, the Filul Madi past tense, it takes a sukun. Because of ta, 
This ta is for second person masculine. While in the second sentence, it also takes a sukun. But the ta this time takes a dhamma. That is because this ta is for first person. In the third sentence, the ta this time takes al kesro. This is because it is for second person feminine. The fourth sentence, the ta is now changed to tum because it indicates plural second person. And the last sentence, the ta takes a dhamma because it is for first person. The last condition under this is when it takes a sukun parsing mark. When na ul fa'ilu, the first person plural subject na, is joined or attached to the end of a past tense, then the past tense ends with a sukun. Examples of this are Kharaj na min al fasli, we went out of the class. Fatahna baab al masjid, we opened the door of the mosque. For him na darsa, we understood the lesson. Akram na al muallima, we honored the teacher. Akal na ta'ama, we ate the food. You see, the past tense verbs here are Kharajna, Fatahna, Fahimna, Akramna and Akalna. But you see that they all take sukun. That is because na ul fa'ilu is joined to them which indicates plural first person. Hope you enjoyed our class for today. Join us on the next lesson for another episode on Speak Arabic with Oba Kids. Shukran ala mushahada. Thanks for watching and subscribe to our channel Book is Link TV, Facebook and Instagram. So for more interesting topics and subjects, visit our website at www.obertutor.com. Thank you all for your support.